All right, this is an Xbox 360 with a DG165S 1175 firmware. Uh, I don't think there's been any proof or any videos of one of these Xboxes, uh, you know, running off a hard drive or something on Xbox Live. So we're going to make this video. So just to prove that this is the actual uh, DVD drive that's meant to be in here, and I haven't just swapped it out and I've got a Trinity motherboard or something. Uh, this is it reading uh, an actual game. Play game, there's Halo, yes it works. Alright, so I've got the X key installed. Uh, we extracted the firmware using uh, the RGH methods, the only way at the moment. This video is made in August 2011, I'm sure. Um, in a month or so time, hopefully it'll be a really easy way to extract the key from this drive. Because uh, right now, yeah, it's pretty pretty hardcore stuff, not for the, the faint-hearted. So the X key is booting up here in emulation mode. So just to show you, we go to about, and we got one point. Uh, can we focus on this? No, sorry, crappy iPhone. Uh, 1.25 firmware we're running. Um, we've got a whole bunch of stuff on the uh, micro SD card here, uh, including my CPU key, uh, DVD key, and some other junk. Uh, all right, so click uh, sync up the controller. Sorry. Open the tray, go to select music, this is the easiest way to do it. Click current disk. Let's choose gears. And we can see here, it's going to load gears 3. It's the same game that I always use for testing. And so we are on Xbox Live here. And lots of advertising, as you know. Ta da Gears 3. So this means that people that do have an RGHable console, uh, which as of speaking is uh, Coronas with a 16 meg NAND, so no 4 gig Coronas. Um, Coronas with a 16 meg NAND that haven't been updated to the latest dashboard, so 14719 at the moment and below. Um, so if you're on Xbox Live already, then you can't get it done. As I said, um, this is just the start of it. This is just to prove that they're the first ones uh, to kind of have a, a retail implementation of uh, of the 165S um, to go on Xbox Live. So more to come soon, hopefully an easier way to extract the firmware.